All right, here we are, batch 20, at least my batch 20, the way I keeping all this stuff organized. So we're calling it batch 20 so we can go numerically through the different batches of test results on knives. Now, none of these knives except for these with armor knives that are supposedly D2, none of the others got a PMI or XRF analyzer uh, shot at them because we already know that these uh, like real steel and steel wheel and two you knife and two sun we've already and we knives we already test all their stuff so we don't want to go through the hassle of doing the the shot on them the x-rays and everything to come out with you know your scientific sheet so we're not doing that now one thing i want to let you know is that Kurt, who does our testing, jcoolg19, has his own YouTube channel, is putting out videos showing you, I mean, he's taking the knives, he's actually doing the Rockwell testing on video right there on his channel. So I'll give you the link to his channel, give you the link to his Instagram, go check it out. This will give you first-hand uh, view of Rockwell testing, what's it all about? You'll be disappointed, it's just so easy. It looks easy at least, but you'll like go, what's all this fuss, what, what, what is 800 points of testing per knife? What's that all about? Uh, no, it's a test machine, it's supposed to be accurate. And some of these uh, knives we stab twice, some of them just once, whatever. Um, and then some of them will go to performance cutting test. Uh, so one of the guys in the group will actually sharpen it, cut it, sharpen it, cut it, and give you those results as far as, you know, the working edge, how many feet of cardboard got cut. And if you want to talk about whether the cardboard medium is sufficient and things like that, watch Super Steel Steve. He's got a big video on that. Really interesting. He goes through the whole thing, the industry of cardboard etc. So I'm convinced it's a good medium to use. It's pretty damn consistent actually because there are actual grades of cardboard. There is actual controls there. So here we go with these knives. Nine of these knives. <clears throat> Here's our little workup sheet. Batch 20 so you can pause and read, screenshot it, whatever for your own records, you know, as they go if you want. So we got some real steel knives. We broke up one big batch into batch 19 and batch 20. So you can see that batch 19 is the, is the A through M and this is the R through whatever. So that's how I broke them up. Just too much to do 18 knives at one time. Real steel, Archangel, 60. You know, we got real steel, G5 Metamorph. That's the one that was in uh, G10, you know. That was Indiana Knives exclusive. And the Real Steel Precision, which I'll, I'll talk more about on future videos because they're going to re-release this to a special website if you want to buy these because these were on Mass Drop only uh, before. Steel Will Tasso, Costoba, Tucson, We Synergy 2, and the With Armor Knives. So you can check all that out. Here we go alphabetically yes the archangel really cool chad los baños all that kind of stuff d2 yes it's real d2 we've checked their d2 before and this one is an hrc of 60. so that's pretty darn respectable the you know our range supposedly for our spreadsheet is 55 to 62 and of course uh, i really want mine at 58 or better but this is 60 so Great deal there. Um, the G5 Metamorph front flipper, like it's G10. Damn, it's really grippy. It's really cool. You should, if you didn't get one of these, check with Indiana Knives if they got any left. If not, they're gone. Deep carry clip and all this. This is N690. N690 should be 56 uh, to 58. 
So this will not be in the yellow zone, which is low. It will not be in the green zone, which is approved, which is the, the range. It'll be in the blue zone, which is higher, harder than our aimed hardness range. It's a 60.5. Is that some crazy? There's where it got poked right there. Right there, that little poke right there. So uh, if you ever send any knives in for us to test, just understand you're going to have a divot on the blade. But in this one, it's a point of honor. That's an incredibly hard blade. I might send that to Outpost 76, see if he wants to cut test with it. That could be crazy cool cutting. I mean, look at that blade. Can you imagine that? <whistles> hard is hard. Whether it's diamonds or whatever it is, it's harder than chalk. That's the HRC. That's the whole deal about Rockwell. Rockwell on chalk is not as high as Rockwell on diamonds. And there you go from there. You can extrapolate. Here we go with the Precision 3001. Now this is supposed to be, the, the S35VN is supposed to be between mm, 58 and 61. This is a 59.3. So I've always caught real steel being right in the zone. So they're right in the green zone on this one as well. So there you go in the divot. Of course, Poltergeist works. I like this. This is made to be a two-handed knife because it's supposed to be legal in European countries and everything. But actually, you might be able to oomph it out with uh, a thumb or a finger. Or I do it with both like that, one-handed. Regardless, cool little knife. And there it goes. It's right in the green zone. Next is the Steel Wheel Tasso in M390 made in Italy. 60 to 62 should be where it lies on the M390. And where does it lie? Well, there was two pokes on this sucker. Both of them right there. One and two. And so this one should be between 60 and 62. And of course it's not. It's a 58 and a 58.6. So I haven't had, I mean, everything that Steel Wheels had made in Italy in M390 has been at or below 59. I'm not sure I've had anything above 59, but just woefully low on the Rockwell hardness, which is sad. It's really sad. Not like the Synergy over here, which is a 60.7, right? So big difference between a 58 a six and a, and a 60.7, two points. Two points make a big difference on a knife. All right, next up, two your knife, Costoba. And this is another N690 knife, just like the G5 Metamorph. So aimed hardness is 56 to 58, and this is right at the top of the scale, it's 58. So no, it's not in the blue zone of overly hard, like this one is, but this is at that top of the hardness of aimed hardness and you can see the punches there and there. So this is good, uh, right there. Next, the Shockwave by Tepe Designs, the TS-134 Shockwave and it got hit twice on there. You can see the divots and that is a little disappointing. It was a, it's a 59 and a 59.1. So um, the like the little 60 TS68 uh, that was a 62 on that M390 and my TS100 was a solid 60. So this is a little lower than the last few that I've had tested on M390. The first two M390 knives I tested were the TS66 and the TS89, and they were both M390, but they were older manufacturer, okay? And so, yeah, they were lower. They were like in the 58 zone. But this one, 59 and 59.1. Little soft. I'm gonna live with it because I love the design, so there you go. And the Synergy, what do we got? 60.2 and a 60.7. So those will definitely be in the green zone for the Wii Synergy. And you know, my Malice, I think, was a 60. And I had another one done as well that was a 60. So they're right there. I mean, they're in the green zone. 
they're not exactly climbing the ladder to the 62 or 63, but uh, 60, they're within their advertised hardness, that's for sure. And so we go with the width armor knives. Now, this is a sheep's foot, and this is called the Dro. This is a Mallory design, Dylan Mallory, who did the artisan cutlery Archeo. And this is one he did prior to that, but it never got produced for a while. And they say right on there, D2 steel and 61 HRC. Remember when I did the reviews on this? It's like, man, I hope they can muscle up and back that up, right? So if you look, though, look at that. Uh, the sheep's foot is it's supposed to be 61. So it's 60.6 and it's 60.4. That's pretty good. And, oh, the other one, uh, the Dro, 61.1 and it's 61.2. So, I mean, they that was bang on, wasn't it? And here's the with armor Dro, 61.1, 61.2. Yes, it's D2 steel. And here's, here's the elementals. Okay, next. The sheep's foot, which is this one here. The one with the sheep's foot blade. What a name, huh? And yeah, that was a 60.6 and a 60.4, but I'll let it go. I mean, it's coded too, and that, that can affect the reading by a little bit. So, I mean, we're only a little bit off of 61. That's that's pretty good shot. D2, and there's the elementals there. So, what can I say? Uh, wow, okay. I was kind of doubting that, but that's why we test them. So that's really good. All right, I'm going to wrap it up, let you go. Thank you so much. Nine knives, looking pretty good. You know what we do. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.